Well, well, well. Oh my God, can we say it again? <sighs> right now is the absolute best time in the world to be a professional wrestling fan. CM Punk wins the WWE title. But I still say, I still say, I said on Twitter that because John Laurinaitis was on TV, CM Punk had to have resigned. Because they would not have, Vince, there's so much heat on, on Johnny Ace right now that he, they wouldn't have put him on TV. What the hell? Quickly, quickly, breakdown of the night. The SmackDown Money in the Bank was won by Daniel Bryan. Uh, Kelly Kelly defeated Brie Bella and retained the, the Divas title in what was a basic four of a match. I was really, really hoping that they would do something special, but they didn't. And I, and I hate it. I, I, I really do. Because I know they can. Uh, Mark Henry defeated the Big Show. Uh, Alberto Del Rio won uh, the SmackDown Money in the Bank. Christian won the World Heavyweight title by spitting in Randy Orton's mouth. Orton went crazy. Uh, kicked Christian in the balls, which I would have done too if somebody would was to ever spit in my mouth. That's fucking nasty. Ugh. I would still be beating on Christian. I don't care if you know it's a work, whatever. He spit in the guy's mouth. I would still be... Punk wouldn't be WWE Champion right now because they would still be trying to pry me away from him. You know, show or not. So that that shit just doesn't doesn't set well with me. If you know if it was to happen to me. And then we come to the main event. The main event. This is what everybody I said it on I posted it on Twitter earlier. I said, "Don't be fooled. This is what the pay-per-view is built on. This is the pay-per-view. This, you know, if Cena goes out there, hits five moves of doom, hits the attitude adjustment, and one, two, three, it's over. Okay. I still say, for me, as, as the guru, analyst, whatever, if Cena would have won... If that match, if Cena would have won that match that they had, that match, I would have been fine with it. As an analyst and as the wrestling guru and the all thing, all knowing all whatever bullshit, I put all that shit aside. I would have been happy because they had a great match. And Cena, for all the Cena haters, you stupid fuckers, pay attention because Cena can wrestle. Okay, they chain wrestled four or five times in the match, reversals and just back and forth. Cena can wrestle. I Cena just they don't have Cena wrestle because he is that Stone Cold of now. He is the brawler. He is you know Stone Cold only had a, a few good matches. Well, well, I take that back. A few great matches with people that were actual technicians in the ring. Uh, people that could help him carry a match. If it was all up to Steve, spots, most of it he could do, but it wouldn't be spectacular. It would be pretty good, but it wouldn't be spectacular. Uh, because Steve can tell somebody what to do, but they still got to be able to do it right. Uh, this right here, Punk, Cena, match of the year. Hands down. The, uh, the only other match that comes close is the very first match of 2011. I believe it was the opening match of the first Raw. Uh, John Morrison versus The Miz, which was just a phenomenal match. This one surpassed it tenfold, I thought. And I may just be too much of in the moment. And my Twitter, I got people blowing up. My nigga RJ, I swear. <laughs> yes, RJ. Yes, you told me that. Uh, 
And I just replied to him, just so you can you can all know. Uh, what does this mean for tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. I, as, as a wrestling fan, am very excited. I am very excited. $45 well worth it for this pay-per-view. Because from, from front to end, the pay-per-view was stacked. Both Money in the Bank matches were probably two of the best matches, uh, Money in the Bank matches, that we've seen in quite some time. Uh, Daniel Bryan winning was a complete shock to me. Uh, Alberto winning wasn't. The way he won, pulling Ray's mask off, that was really innovative. Uh, because, you know, they've never done that before. Uh, <laughs> hashtag sarcasm. Uh, but, you know, take it for what it is. And then, as a fan, I sat back and tried, as a fan, to watch this. But I still went... I still look at this match like I look at every other match. I look at this match from a wrestler's standpoint instead of just, you know, a casual f or, or a, a long time, lifelong fan. But I was going back and forth. I'm like, oh, that was, that was really great. What, what, what makes it so special for me is being able to feel the emotion. Feel the passion. Be able to see the storytelling unfold. And regardless of what anybody has to say, and I don't care, I've called you all morons, you're assholes, you're dickheads, you don't know. Cena is an amazing storyteller. Put that, he's always been an amazing storyteller, but put that with him being a great wrestler for this match. And it may have just been Punk made Cena. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to argue that at all. But for this right here, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So where do we go from here? I really don't know. Uh, but stay tuned. Because Monday Night Raw is going to be epic. I predict CM Punk will be on Raw, and I predict somehow uh, I want to predict it so bad. I want to predict Alberto cashes in, but because Vince was trying to get him to do it. But if CM Punk is a is not a contracted wrestler. How can they do it? These answers and many more will be revealed tomorrow night. And I assure you the Raw 411 tomorrow night is going to be epic. Epic. Of epic proportions. I will see you guys later. Deuces as always. I am out. Because I've spoken for the last time today. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Leave a comment below. Let's rejoice in what was the best WWE pay-per-view in a long time. From front to back, the best in a long, long time.